One very important product in our society is rubber and rubber products. And to meet up with the demand for rubber, research and innovation is inevitable. This one has caused the establishment of Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria. Tonight in the program Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria, we will focus on the Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria with emphasis on its history, mandate, organization structure, research programs, among other things. The program will, however, start with news from the Diary of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. I'm your guide, Gabriel Ojile. Keep watching. That will provide the necessary policy direction that will truly position agriculture as the mainstay of our economy. The federal government is removing obstacles and offering opportunities for self-employment, wealth creation, and food security in the Nigeria's agricultural sector. Think farming, think agriculture. Watch Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria. In the news, Agri-Ministry organizes consultative meeting to enhance animal welfare. Okay. Or introduce yourselves briefly. You can just indicate by a raise of your hand, online participants. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, in collaboration with F&A Engineering Construction Limited, recently organized a stakeholders' consultative meeting to develop strategic documents to cater to the welfare of animals during emergencies and disasters in Nigeria. The meeting, which took place in Maraba area of Nasara State, was attended by staff of the ministry, Chief Veterinary Officer of Nigeria, President of the Nigerian Veterinary Medical Association, Veterinary Officers in the Nigerian Police, Nigerian Army, Paramilitary and other relevant stakeholders. The Chief Veterinary Officer of Nigeria, Musa Inwa, stated that the meeting would enhance sharing of ideas among stakeholders on ways of improving animal welfare in Nigeria. The essence of this meeting is to provide a platform for effective engagement and interaction amongst relevant stakeholders on implementing policies on matters concerning the general care of animals in production, processing, transportation, research, and games during emergency and disaster situations in Nigeria. In addition, this meeting will serve as a medium for awareness creation, sensitization of relevant stakeholders on good animal welfare practices, especially emergency and disaster situations. Also speaking in an interview, the National President, Nigerian Veterinary Medical Association of Nigeria, Uluwatoni Aditubero, stated the need for government to have animal rescue teams in the National Emergency Management Agency, as well as security agencies to cater for animals during emergencies in the country. We want to recommend that uh, during emergencies, the animal uh, rescuers should be involved in rescuing em uh, emergencies. Even the road safety uh, people should have uh, vets or animal rescuers amongst them because sometimes vehicles have accidents on the way and you see some animals will just uh, get accidented, some may die, some may be uh, uh, injured, that needs quick attention to rehabilitate them. So we would want government to set up committees that will involve vet veterinarians and animal health uh, components in rescue and emergencies. In a bid to prevent losses as a result of planting during first rain in the country, the Executive Director of National Series Research Institute, NCRI, Dr. Ali Omar, has warned farmers not to rush into planting during the first rainfall. Omar gave the advice to farmers during a meeting with reporters in his office in Badegi, Niger State. He stated that the alert was necessary because crops planted within the first rain could become roasted by heat if the rain stopped. He said to prevent such losses, farmers should exercise some patience for another rain before planting their crops. 
Umar further advised farmers to use the first rain period for preparation of their farms and start planning for the full rainy season. Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria is an institute that has impacted positively in the rubber industry in Nigeria, across Africa and globally. When was it established? What are the core mandates of this institute and how does it carry out its mandate? Answers to these questions and more will be our focus in our next segment, Records of the FDA. Keep watching. This is the headquarters of Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria, located in Iyanomo area of Benin in Edo State, Nigeria. The history of Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria is traceable to 1961, when it was established by the government of the defunct Western Region of Nigeria as part of its Ministry of Agriculture and Natural Resources. With the creation of the Midwestern Region in 1963, it became Rubber Research Station of the then new region. But with the Nigerian Research Institute Act of 1964 and the promulgation of Agricultural Research Institute Decree of 1973, the institute assumed the name Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria. The executive director of the institute, Lelia Inkenchinyere Dongo, throws more light on the historical evolution of the institute. Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria actually started as rubber research stations. Okay, of the then eastern region, or uh, you could say east central states, stationed in Akwete. And then they had another one, rubber research station in Edo State, which was the western region. But through decrees, I think in 1964, there was one research institute decree of, of Acts 33, and there was another one in 1973, um, Act 35. The government now amalgamated the two stations to become Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria. So I will say from that time, 1972, it became Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria. We have uh, two substations, uh, one in Akwete in Abia States, and uh, another one in Gashua uh, in Yobe States. The one in Gashua in Yobe States is in charge of gum Arabic. Uh, there we have other experimental stations we have in uh, Kaduna, Southern Kaduna to be precise uh, we have in Igbo Taku as in Ondo State uh, we also have uh, in Otuo in Edo State The Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has the mandate to research into Genetic improvement of natural, gum arabic and other latex producing plant, improvement of agronomic practices including cultivation and exploitation techniques, processing, preservation, storage and utilization of natural rubber, gum arabic and other latex producing plants, farming system in relation to cultivation of latex producing plants among others. Our mandate is to develop the natural um, rubber to carry out research for the development of natural rubber, gum arabic, and all the latest producing plants of economic importance. Our vision is to be a leading research center, both in Africa and the world, in terms of these economic crops. To actualize the mandate of the institute, the institute has six research departments, which include planning, monitoring and evaluation department, research operations department, Research Support Services Department, Information and Documentation, Research Outreach Department, Knowledge Sharing and Management Department. The Institute also has two service departments. They are Administration Department, Finance and Accounting Department. Each of these research departments and programs has mandates which help in actualizing the overall mandates of the Institute. Planning plays a pivotal role in the success of any organization or individuals. Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has a department in charge of planning, monitoring and evaluation. The department develops short, medium and long-term plans for the institutes. 
the problem you have seen my table there. I'm just trying to develop a long-term plan for the institute just before you came in. Then we also deal with data. The institute is involved with two mandate crops, rubber and gum arabic. So this department is involved with collection of up-to-date data, statistics of these mandate crops. The department also plays a significant role in planning capacity building of the staff for optimal performance. One of the important benefits of our Greek to this country is what job opportunities. The institute, in line with that, we have been kind of capacity building of men, women, and youth in particular. And what are we doing? We train them on how they can go into rubber production, how they can be involved. You must have been to our processing facilities, how they can be involved in processing. We also encourage them that while they are waiting for rubber, you may have, you may have been told that rubber is a long time plant, it takes about seven years. So while they are waiting for them to start getting returns on their investments, we teach them the act of intercropping so they can be making extra returns. The Research Operations Department is in charge of conducting research operations to enhance inherent qualities of the planting materials of rubber and gum arabic for higher productivity. The department oversees activities in uh, two programs. The Rubber Improvement and Management Program, Gum Arabic Improvement and Management Program. <coughs> the institute programs are multidisciplinary, in which case yeah, the programs might include disciplines outside the basic areas of uh, the department. But talking about the basic areas of the department, we have uh, three divisions, agronomy division, that is taking care of uh, feed crop activities, which we call feed crop management unit, and uh, soil science, which we call uh, soil and plant nutrition unit. So they are under agronomy division. Then we have uh, crop production, um, crop improvement and management, headed by a lady, a director now, that includes uh, plant breeding, where we talk of improvement, just like uh, in those days we say agri farm. Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has also Research Support Services Department, which has the mandate to produce planting materials for the institutes and Nigerian farmers. Uh, the Research Support Services also has the uh, production division. The production division uh, is uh, in charge of production, as, it's, as the name implies. And uh, rubber is all about production. We have the nursery, where we produce planting materials. Uh, we have the PEDU, or uh, plantation development, where we uh, establish new plantations and we also have tapping, exploitation. Uh, that is where the real business comes in. In fact, my department is the business arm of, of rubber. We are into uh, production. And we don't just uh, do it for the institute, we also do it for the country, uh, producing planting materials for smallholder farmers, uh, establishing plantations for uh, different stakeholders or clients. The Rubber Research Support Service also has the mandate of producing latex for industrial purposes. Producing uh, rubber, rubber latex for uh, clients who are going into uh, carpets, underlays and so on. Uh, we also we, we, we produce cup lump, uh, 
uh, cup lump, you find buyers coming to buy, um, taking to factories. Uh, those cup lump end up maybe as uh, 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 crumbs, and those crumbs uh, is like adding value to the uh, cup lump. And those crumbs usually are exported out of the countries or used by industries within Nigeria. Different publications. This is on uh, tapping techniques. This is a uh, snail farming. Research documentation plays a significant role in enhancing research activities and information to ensure success in rubber production. In this regard, the institute has an information and documentation department. In research institute like this, uh, information and documentation is very important. So, and, this, and since it has to do with dissemination of information, you gather and disseminate to the outside world, it's very, very important. You know, if you, if you are doing research in a place and whatever findings you have are not giving out, then it, it, will, it will stay with you. But when you, have, when you have information, when you have uh, research findings that are taken out to people, reaching out to outside world. The Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has a research outreach department, which houses some research programs and enhances production of rubber and other farming system. It has three programs. One of them is farming system research, extension and social economic program. The second one is product development and use, which has to do with uh, fabrication of uh, simple tools. The other one is rubber seed units. The next program is product development, rubber technology. What we do at this program is to add value to rubber products. The Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has Knowledge Sharing and Management Department, which has the responsibility to write proposals for research grant and communicate the research breakthroughs and activities to the outside world. And our mandate is basically to identify and develop partnership and collaboration between the Institute and the public and other stakeholders and the, as well as the private sectors. We are also expected to source for research grants and uh, transmit um, the information to our interdisciplinary research team. The program is transforming agriculture in Nigeria and we are taking an overview of the Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria. The research departments of the institute supervises the research programs of the institute. In our next segment, Partnership for Development, we are showcasing research programs of the institute and the mandate of these programs in rubber production, processing, extension and livelihood improvement in Nigeria. Keep watching. One after running it several times. The research breakthroughs in the Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria is categorized into five different research programs, namely Rubber Improvement and Biotechnology Research Program, Farming System Research and Extension, Rubber Product Development Research Program, Product Development and Use Research Program, Gum Arabic Improvement and Biotechnology Research Program. The Rubber Improvement and Biotechnology Research Program of the Institute makes research into genetics improvement of natural rubber to increase its productivity. The uh, mandate of my program, which I've just mentioned, is to develop techniques both at laboratory level and feed, both laboratory and feed levels for improved productivity of rubber as a crop. Uh, institute 
as rain has the man uh, overall mandate of conducting research into the uh, production and development of three mandate crops, rubber, gum arabic, and other latter producing plants. But my program look into that of rubber. Rubber is said to take up to seven years before a farmer can tap from the plant. To encourage good farming system that can ensure proper planting and income generation before the maturity of rubber tree, the Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has farming system research and extension. The mandate of uh, this program is to carry out research in farming systems, all aspects of farming systems, extension and social economics. The we are the window of the research programs and the research institute to the farmers. We provide linkage through collaboration between the research officers, research uh, innovations, and the farmers. And we receive feedbacks of farmers' problems back to the institute for solutions. Adding value to rubber latex is more lucrative than selling only the latex. And to enhance value addition of rubber tree, Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has rubber technology research program. The mandate of this um, rubber technology program in RIN is one, to conduct research into value and in quality of natural rubber latex um, coagula and gum arabic. You know, number two is to um, also look at the issues of value addition, you know, which um, has to do with um, which has to do with processing, primary processing of field material from our plantations into industrial raw materials. The end use is also another program charged with the responsibility to research into processing, preservation, storage, and industrial utilization of rubber, gum arabic, and other latex crops and their byproduct. In order to expand the, the the base and the reach of the the mandate of the institute, uh, the concept to turn in some of the ancillary products of these mandate crops into valuable materials, industrial materials, you know, was conceived. And so product development end use uh, program is actually focused on the propagation, preservation, storage, and industrial utilization of uh, rubber ancillary products. The mandate of the Institute is beyond researching into rubber. It also researches into gum arabic and other latex producing plants. The Institute, therefore, has Gum Arabic Improvement and Management Research Program. Gum Arabic has to fall into one of the mandate crop of rubber research. And the, the main station here is in, purely in charge of rubber. But we have a substation at Gashua, which is, the responsibility, which is responsible for production of Gum Arabic. And Gum Arabic are creamed uh, as it is from the stem. This is an example of um, my gum arabic, the products. In facilitating research operations, the institute has research laboratories, factories, and other sections where research into production and value addition takes place. The Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria has been in existence for about 60 years and has made lots of breakthroughs in research that could enhance production and value addition of rubber, gum arabics, and other latex producing plants. Join us again same time, same station, as we will showcase the breakthroughs of the Institute in our next episode. But for now, we draw the curtain on the episode. I'm Gabriel Ojile. Good night and stay safe. <laughs>